Hey everyone, my name is Chris and today I would like to talk about Portfolio Tracker specifically using Google Spreadsheet. It's one of the best free portfolio tracker out there that can be customized to different investors' needs. In my previous video, I've already shared a great template created by a contributor at the Monthly Fool. The template can be used as a good starting point for a stock portfolio tracker. However, at times it could be too sophisticated for your needs or it might not have everything that you need. Investor may have different types of assets besides stocks like crypto or ETF or you might want to track additional information like dividends or see your portfolio value in different currencies and so on. In this video, I want to focus more on the different Google Sheet formulas that you could use to track different assets in your portfolio like crypto, ETF and stocks. I'll show you some advanced functions like import HTML or import HTML, allowing you to pull data from other financial websites to get information not available through Google Finance functions, for example, to track dividend or to get industry and sector classification for your stocks. And remember, Google Finance function has a disclaimer that it may be delayed up to 20 minutes, so it's not as useful for traders that need real-time data, but it's good enough for long-term investors. Anyway, check out the video timeline if you're only interested in a particular topic. So the first section is how to track cryptocurrencies in your portfolio. All you have to do is list all the cryptocurrency symbol that you have and then the quantity and then you can use google finance function to get the value in the currencies that you want so in this example i have bitcoin and some of the other popular uh, cryptocurrencies in us dollar but for example if you want to get this in different currency pair uh, let me just use for example in euro you can just type btc euro and then type the quantity maybe i have fractional and then I can just use Google function, Google finance function uh, and then select the symbol and then the quantity that I have. So uh, to make it easier to read, I can round this up to two decimal point. And there you go, you will get the uh, value in Euro. So uh, if you have already listed all of the other cryptocurrencies that you have and the quantity, you can just drag and fill to get uh, all of them converted into the currencies that you want. So the next one is how to track stocks and ETF in your portfolio. So just like before, you can list all the stock sticker that you have and then the quantity for each of them. And then you can find the value of each position using Google Finance function. So you can just select the uh, ticker symbol and then multiply it with the quantity and you get the portfolio value for this position and uh, this is in USD but if you want to convert this to Euro you can just get the currency rate and then multiply it get the currency rate in from USD to Euro and then multiply it with the value in USD so you get the value in Euro and you can just from this to make it easier to read and uh, you can just drag and fill to get the value for the different stocks that you have so for ETF I have two of the popular one here which is Vanguard 500 POO and QQQ as you can see here there's a prefix that indicate where this data is pulled from uh, if you don't know the symbol you can just search for it in Google for example I want to find the symbol for QQQ so I can just copy this Nasdaq so I can just copy this symbol and then I'll paste it here and um, so make sure to remove the space so that you won't get any error and you can just drag and fill you can also uh, use Google function Google Finance uh, to get the value of index for example if you want to uh, compare the index performance against your total portfolio performance which is a good thing to do uh, two of the popular one here is s p 500 and nasdaq 100 uh, as before you can just search for this and then get the ticker symbol 
uh, for the current uh, index in USD. So we have a couple of stocks listed here but it would be nice to get additional information to know which sector or industry they belong to to help us understand if we are well diversified across different sector or industry so this information is not available through google finance but we can pull data from different financial websites for example through fidelity research so let's say we want to find information or for the sector of microsoft we can just search the stocks in fidelity and if we scroll down here we have the sector and industry information so if we want to pull this data into the spreadsheet we need to copy this url and then we'll use a function called uh, import xml So just for your information, import XML allow you to import data in various format to your Google spreadsheet. I can paste the URL that I have earlier. I already have the symbol here, so I can replace this Microsoft ticker symbol with uh, the next one. So this will give me information on Apple for this particular website but i need to find how to get to get this sector or industry so i can just view the source uh, for this particular one i can see the pattern is subheading right so i can just put that additional expat information So when you type this, this will give you um, both the sector industry. So we need to use index to get the particular information that we want here. So this will give us the sector and then uh, we can just do the same for industry and just increase the index here. So once we have the uh, formula entered we can just drag fill this so you can see using this formula you can get the uh, sector industry for all the different stocks that you have here so it's mostly for just us stocks though so we can use google spreadsheet not just to track stock that are listed in the us stock market but stock in other market or the same us stock sold in european market for example so all you have to do is just search for the stocks that you want to track and then as before you just copy the symbol and it will return the result in the currency uh, example here i get the value of bank central asia and indonesian rupiah and similarly if you buy us stock but from different market for example here is the one for Microsoft in Euro from the Sextra uh, stock exchange then you get the value in Euro so you get the idea you can just find all the stocks from the different stock market and then list them here so last but not least how to track important information like annual dividend and dividend yield uh, and this information is not available through Google Finance but you can use other financial website. FinFace is one of the best free financial website out there. So we can just search for the stocks that we want. Uh, again, Microsoft, for example. And then as you can see here, there are a lot of details. Some are available through Google Finance, but the information like dividends are not available. So we can just pull the information from this table. So uh, you can use Google function called import html to import data from table or list from different html page so all we have to do is just type the function import html and then copy the url so we can replace this sticker symbol because we already have it here we we are interested in specific table and from try and error, I know that this table is table 8. So I can just type that. So if I do this, 
then I get the entire table but all I want to do is just the specific field here which is dividend and then dividend yield so we can use this index function to find the specific um, row and column here so dividend is like the one two three four five six seven uh, row and then the second column so we can just uh, update this function to use index the seventh row and the second column so we get this dividend yield now but we have to get rid of this uh, in the additional star character so we can use substitute function and get rid of the star so now we get the dividend yield if you want to track how much dividend that you get for the entire year you can multiply this with the quantity like this but you want to convert this value into number so you can uh, additionally substitute this tax with the number format to make sure that this is a number this is uh, just to make sure if the stock doesn't have a dividend then you won't get an error you can just uh, drag and fill to get all the information for the dividend yield for the different stocks that you have here and for yield we can just use the same uh, formula but we know that dividend yield is the next row here so we can just increment uh, the row index by one this is the eighth row so you get the dividend yield in percentage here so if you want to track different information like get the um, volatility for example or the latest uh, earning date which is October 26 after market close column so as you can see you can just uh, adjust the index here to get the information that you want so hopefully this is helpful I will provide the links to this spreadsheet below in the description box so you can use all the samples that we discussed throughout the video so good luck with your investment and see you next time